besides the distortion performance of an amplifier, the noise performance of an amplifier is a characterizing property for those circuits. The signal to noise ratio is one way of characterizing that noise performance. And it simply relates the signal to the noise as the name indicates, and very often it is given in dB. The noise floor of an amplifier is the highest signal you have in the spectrum when the inputs are shorted. That means the input voltage is zero. The signal, however, in the sense of signal to noise ratio is the output of the amplifier when the input is at the maximum specified input voltage. So the maximum you get out at the frequency that you actually put in. You certainly also get distortion out as indicated by this peak here, but that is not taken into account into the signal to noise ratio performance. So the signal is simply the signal at the maximum input voltage and the noise is the noise at the lowest input voltage. So the S and the N are not measured under the same conditions. Therefore, we have another parameter to represent the performance of an output amplifier with respect to its noise output, and that is called the dynamical range, or abbreviated as DNR. The dynamical range can be measured at any of the input levels that the amplifier is specified for. So you actually can also imagine a sweep from zero to the maximum input voltage. The dynamical range of an amplifier is the signal at that arbitrary level divided by everything that is not desired at that signal level. So therefore it is also taking the distortion into account as we can see in this spectrum plot over here. The amplification times the input voltage is the desired signal represented as the signal at that arbitrary level here and anything else the highest peak of whatever is else coming out of the amplifier for example distortion is considered the noise value and the distance between those two is the dynamical range which often also is given in decibels therefore in the best case the dynamical range is the same as the signal to noise ratio which is rarely the case as we have artifacts like clipping or crossover distortion to derive both the dynamical range and the signal to noise ratio we typically look at the spectrum plots that we can get from a fourier analysis of the signals at the input and the output of the amplifier